forest flood and fire. The BNFT, COVID-19 exposes local firms' businesses' uh, continuity plan. Companies prefer to satisfy regulators, not save them. No stress testing uh, of plans to see effectiveness. Bost margin increase, that's uh, three, uh, 100% there. Petroleum products to increase less than 0.5%. MPA meant to protect strategic national assets. Eastern Railroad for, from Tema to uh, Mpakadan is 60% complete. The Finder newspaper, no visits, no religious activities when schools reopen. Dr. Matthew Pukoprempe's education minister being instructive there. EC pilots new voters registration in all 16 regional capitals and allowance. Government announces 1,200 cities uh, for teachers, 600 Ghana cities for non-teaching staff. Railways ministry to order about 35 trains to Ghana in June. The Daily Guide. Pay and take your property, CJ tells Mr. Alfred Agwishiwoyumi. Government completes 236 SHS projects. EC conducts pilot registration exercise, which we're told would end today. Mona versus police, NDC hijacks bloodshed case. Ghanaian Times, SHS, JHS to write special exam as Y sets to conduct country specific WASI and BEC. EC begins pilot voter, uh, started yesterday, use the death of George Floyd as catalyst to effect changes. President has urged the United States and police CID grants Bernard Mona 20,000 Ghana cities inquiry bills to report um, to the police regularly. Daily graphic, new dates for exit examinations. Wasi, August 3, BEC, September 14, and ECN's pilot voter registration today. COVID-19 updates our case counts presently 8,297 and recovered cases of 2,986 and that's 38 uh, people or persons. Flogging, father pleads guilty and poultry farmers welcome ADB's intervention. My guest this morning, uh, Mr. Stephen Amwa, he is the boss at Maslock. He's also looking at the Inshesu uh, seat family and it's been a long time since he's been here. Steve, welcome. How are you doing? Thank you. Um, I did this program do well. Mm. Thank you for having me on this session. Great. And Mr. Sam George is the Honourable Member of Parliament for the people of Ningo Pram Pram constituency as well. Sam, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, and a very good morning to our viewers mm. and to you as well. Mm. Let me just use this opportunity to extend my deepest <coughs> condolences to the family of Honourable Ejekum, oh. uh, former Deputy Minister for Local Government, mm. who sadly lost his second daughter, his 15-year-old, on her birthday mm -hmm. uh, over the weekend. Our thoughts and gratitude. She was laid to rest yesterday. Mm. Our, our thoughts and, and, and sympathies mm. and condolences are with the family at this trying moment. Okay. Great for, for, for that. And uh, we wish them well. May, may she rest in peace uh, and so on. Tibo, how, how are the grounds? Oh, by the grace of God, everything mm. is all right. Mm. Um, I pray and hope to win. I know I'm going to win. Mm. Yeah, Wish you well. Thank okay. You. Yesterday, let's start on the June 3 note. Five years ago, that uh, disaster befell us. And <coughs> some, have we learned any lessons at all? And we're learning that the victims are yet to be compensated. But key question, have we learned any lessons at all? Thank you very much. I mean, it's, it's the rainy season again, as usual, for the past, um, what? This is the 10th year I've been on TV. Mm. I think every year I come and do this discussion mm -hmm. on one platform or the other. Mm. I've always maintained that the issue of flooding, which is what led to the June 3rd disaster, mm -hmm. uh, critically exposes the, the lack of planning in, in our cities. Mm. Um, and I've always said that the issue of flooding in our cities is a three-pronged challenge. Which are? First is central government or the politicians. Mm. Second is the citizenry. Mm. And third is policy enforcement. Politicians need to have the willpower to enforce the bylaws or the, 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 the laws that we have. Mm. Most of this flooding is caused by people who have built in waterways. Mm. People who have been given permits to build in areas where they should not build. Mm. Now, these are political decisions. Decisions taken by people in positions of authority. Mm. We cannot run away from it. 
we have a responsibility. We've been voted into office to ensure that the right things are done. Mm. Many times, in fact, the owners of these buildings are politicians and people affiliated to politicians. That's how come they're able to build in waterways. <laughs> then, then, then the next problem... That, that's a serious thing to say. Oh, it's the truth. I mean, let's, let's, we, we need to call a spade a spade. If we want to fix this problem, we need to be honest with ourselves. Ah, which ordinary man can just wake up without any connection to political power and go and build in a water aquifer or build in a waterway and his building will not be collapsed or pulled down by, by a politician mm -hmm. who is sitting either as a DC or as an MC or as a minister. If you don't have connection to political power, you won't even have the, the air country mm -hmm. to go and build there. In fact, you won't even get the building permit in the first place mm -hmm. to build there. Okay. When it comes to the issue of policy, All right. at the end of the day, we need to have a policy that says that we are planning our cities well. Mm -hmm. Again, policy is linked to political power. Because the policy is going to be shaped by political decisions. Mm. You need to be able to say, look, at this point in time, we need to clear these parts of the city. Water would always find a way. You cannot use concrete to block water. Mm. Water will find its, it but, will but, find its level. But, but Sam, we don't lack the expertise. We have the technocrats. We, look, I've heard the late Jacob Echabilamte, modernization of the capital city. Um, we, <laughs> that, led to, that led to reclaiming of land. Regional reorganization. The minister is still there, Mr. Honorable Dan Kwekubotri, uh, MP4, Okre, man, I so much respect. That, that was simply just so to create new regions. We, we, don't, we don't lack the men, we don't lack the policy. What's our problem? Ah, and that's what I'm telling you, that until politicians, mm. me, sitting here included, I'm not excluding myself, I'm a politician, mm. until politicians mm. decide that we will do the right thing mm -hmm. by way of policy. Ah, we know, we know what parts of Accra need to be demolished for water to flow f freely from the eastern ridge mm -hmm. all the way from the mountain. You see, the problem of flooding in Accra is that all the water that aggregates from the mountains mm -hmm. flows all the way down through the Oyarefa area, right. all the way into Accra, and must find its way into the sea, <laughs> through the Koli mm -hmm. and the Odo. It is, you know... This, you can't run away from it. That's how Accra is built. That's how Ghana is built. Based on our topography, the water comes from the mountain ranges mm -hmm. and must find its way into the sea. If you build and block it, the water will still come. It will demolish. The last problem, which is the citizen, which is right. equally very key, mm -hmm. is when you have citizens who think that they are wiser than God. Oh. Oh, yes. And think that it is cheaper to dispose their waste in... in, in, in gutters and waterways mm. than to pay waste disposal companies who have been designated to come and take their waste. Ah, as soon as the glass gather, you see people taking their baller and putting it, their rubbish and putting it in the gutter. Mm. I keep saying, when the gutter floods, it is not going to go and flood the house of the minister. <laughs> it's going to flood you, your house, because it's in front of your house you put the rubbish. Mm. Until citizens also earn a responsibility. Look, there is what we call the obligations of the state to the citizen. Right. And the citizen also has his responsibility, civic responsibility. That's right. And so, until the state does what the politician, which is the state, who has the power of the state, that's what is right. And until the citizen does what is right, mm -hmm. we'll keep discussing this. Look, previously, 10 years ago when we started, mm -hmm. we were discussing flooding only in Accra. Right. Now there's flooding in Kumasi. Now there's flooding in Takrade. Even the there's, region. there's flooding in the Eastern region. There's flooding in Tamale. The whole country is flooding. Why? Because we are not following policy. We are not allowing planning lead mm. development. Development is leading planning. Mm. As we sit now, I keep shouting, the Ministry of Planning, Ministry of Works and Housing, what one high, lands and natural resources with all their projects, World Bank funded projects and all. They are sitting down. Kaswa, 20 years ago, was being sold. Mm. Nobody went to plan Kaswa. Today, you see the mess that Kaswa is. The same thing is happening in Ningo Pram Pram today. The lands are being sold at a very fast rate. There is no special planning being done and being enforced by the district assembly mm -hmm. to say this place is commercial, this place is residential, this place is industrial, this is a water drain. Mm -hmm. You go to some parts of, of I go to places so, where... So the, the, the planning uh, office, there's a town and country planning office by the Anglican school. Yes. Yeah, there's an old building. That yes. They, what, what do they do? Proper, what, when they take their uh, bath to go to work, what do they do? But what can they do? How much, how much, do they even have the, 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 the technology to specially map the place? I know that OAS, mm. who built the Saglimi housing project, mm. donated a $90,000 facility to the district assembly for special planning and did a special mapping. But the question is, 
the land is sold by a family head mm. without recourse to the assembly. He sells 500 acres to somebody who claims he's coming to do an industry. Mm -hmm. Where he has sold that land, has that place been demarcated already to be industrial mm -hmm. or to be commercial or to be residential? No. Okay. There's no coordination. Step in for me. Some says we have learned. No, we, we weren't. <laughs> <laughs> well, can't so, you see that I'm wearing my own? Can't you see he's wearing his own? Please, allow, allow. Yeah, it's because <laughs> your nose is big. You can't breathe in it. That's unfair. So, can, we, some, if I hear some, we, we seem not to have learned anything. And so now we acquire lands, we build, we develop, before we start thinking of where to put what. And that's a bigger problem. Do you share, do you share the, this concept? Oh. Five years on, have we learned any lessons? Yes, before then, I would like to extend my regards to the sitting president, mm. the icon on the continent of Africa in terms of leadership, and then the entire Ghanaian community, the good people in Shiaeso, and the good work <laughs> some of you are doing, the media men. Mm. Um, I think for the first time, I agree 90% with some, everything that he's saying, except that I think he made a very strong statement <laughs> that one. Which, which is? Not that it was wrong, but you know our settings. Mm. Somebody will say this and that, but he was being factual, like the way we behave as mm. a people. Mm. Um, I would like to say that um, I have this problem, sorry. Okay. That always we talk about leadership. Mm -hmm. And we limit leadership to Okufuado and Mahama. Okay. And to me, that is wrong. Okay. On this table, mm. you have to exhibit effective leadership mm. in parliament in the constituencies of Ningo Pram mm. Pram. Mm. Honorable Sam George has to exhibit effective leadership and efficient. Mm. Maslok have to exhibit effective leadership and efficient leadership. Mm. Put together, then we can talk about leadership. Leadership, okay. You understand? What Everybody I'm playing a part. Exactly. Okay. First, we need to consider what are the factors. Mm. First thing, some has said almost everything. First thing, do we really have any strategic framework mm -hmm. or plan, mm -hmm. strategic management framework of our drainage system as a country? Mm -hmm. Most of the times, we wrongly interchange or replace strategy with tactics. Tactics got something to do with short term. For instance, COVID-19, almost mm. everything being done all over the world, including Ghana, they are tactics or tactical. Mm. But what are the strategies put in place to manage long-term uncertainties? Mm. As a country, how did we anticipate the settlement pattern of our country the next 10 years, 5 years, mm. I mean before even Corona must mm. exactly. But, but we have the we, institutions, so... That's what I'm saying. AESL is Thank there. Him. Ministry but of they are there. Housing. But uh, do they have any strategic framework that was supposed to handle these uncertainties? That's our problem. So number one is the policy framework or planning. Number mm. two is the kind of drainage system we have. Mm -hmm. 21st century, even Greater Accra, mm. gutters are not covered. About, about 90%. Just check. Who gives the contracts? So... I'm not coming. It's, it's, it's what goes into it. Mm. That's what he said. You understand what I'm saying? So they are not even covered. Vis a vis the attitude and the antisocial behaviors of mm. some or most Ghanaians, mm. how we dump anywhere. Mm -hmm. I hope you understand what I'm mm. saying. The next thing is that even the pipes that are laid, mm. are they up to standard? Are they correct? As you said, who awarded the contract? Mm. What was the specification? Did they monitor the work? Were they doing it very well or not? So these are issues. And I think the, act, the, the active or the principal actors mm -hmm. are the state authorities, the government, as Sam said, and the, the citizens, the mm -hmm. people of this country. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, one thing Sam forgot. He didn't forget, he didn't explain, but he did not okay. name them, the chiefs. Mm -hmm. Because the chiefs are mostly the custodians of our lands. Mm -hmm. I hope you understand something. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that is very critical, which you mentioned, it used to be in Greater Accra. Mm -hmm. Because the land in Greater Accra, when we were learning geography, they said it was plain. Yeah. And then other places mm -hmm. like Kumasi and Co were undulated or undulating. Right. They were having this Anosada mm -hmm. landscape. And it was very difficult for us to have these problems. 
But I can tell you, even in my constituency, now places such as TUC, and you know, mm. area and other parts in my constituency mm. are now prone to flood or flooding. Yeah, those, those places they didn't used to flood. Not at all. Do you know why? No. There is this river passing through the constituency mm. to a place called Wood Village. Mm -hmm. You saw what mm -hmm. Kofor did mm -hmm. for the, the wood, whatever. Mm -hmm. Now people are failing along the building inside along the, the, the banks of the, the river, banks mm -hmm. of the river mm -hmm. and they are putting houses and other things. They are settling Same there. Thing we are doing of Sodom and so, Gomorrah. One Same question, things. one question we should ask authorities, mm -hmm. MPP and DC, because we have been in power for almost 30 years or 40 together. Mm -hmm. And then as you said, the institutions that are in charge, what have been the settlement plan or framework? Do we have one? Mm -hmm. If we have, are we monitoring them? If we are monitoring them, what are the results? What are the adjustments? Who is in charge of ensuring that these laws are... Sorry. You, you have to hold it for me. Sorry about Sorry, that. thank you. These laws are to be adhered to by the people mm. so that these things can be avoided. So these are the areas. But mm. one thing about Ghana is that flooding system or flooding issues mm. or floods, when we're kids, we're experiencing, that, especially oh. at Chumata area mm. there. Mm -hmm. And then you remember when Kofu came, he did a lot of work. Mm. Uh, I think under Mahama uh, Mills, they also started right. where people were complaining about Mahama's brother. You remember? Mm. But the question is, for about 40 years now, mm -hmm. every year, now it has become annual rituals. And we must and stop Africa, it. why? Africa. The things that we know are problems so many years. The fact is that the skill component of our labor force, good engineers, good doctors, good PhD holders in other fields, Good mechanics. But good if we can't feel the good impact that, of all those ones, so what, what, what is happening? What is happening? You know, you know let, <laughs> let me come. If you take the hands out of parliament, yeah. 1961, the mm. first parliament of Ghana, mm. they spoke about flooding in Accra. And the same challenges, 1961. Mm. So the minister for works under Kwame Nkrumah came and complained about flooding in Accra. We are still talking about it over 50 years later. Look, Kumasi. And other areas where the landscape is undulating, mm. it's even scarier there. That's why last year or two years ago, we had mudslides, a landslide, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because of the undulating nature. Mm -hmm. In Accra, when the water is coming, it just flows. But because this one is coming from a hill, mm -hmm. the force of the water carries actually mud. <laughs> and flooding is one thing. Mudslides or landslides are even you. they will kill you because they will bury you with mud. And so, look, we need to get to that place where we call a spade a spade and decide that. We are doing the right thing. You mentioned Muhammad's brother, and I can't stop. I can't, I can't end without going into that. Dredge issue. Masters. No, Dredge Masters okay. is different. Okay. Dredge is Masters different, yeah. is, is related to Zoom Lion. Mm. Engineers and planners. Engineers see, and planners, sorry about that. We need to ask ourselves. But Dredge Masters have also done... Dredge Masters, masters have also done job. some good job. But you see... That is Zoom Lion. Zoom Lion. Yeah. Yeah. But you yeah. see, yeah. engineers and planners have been bastardized. Mm. Zoom Lion has been bastardized in this country. Depending on who. So who do we turn to? You know why? No. When Ibrahim started... The dredging of the door after the June 3rd. Mm. All he said was, I have expertise, I have engineers, I have men. The state had bought at that time a fleet of equipment mm. that was supposed to go to local assemblies. They, they had not been distributed yet. He said, Give me the excavators. Okay. I will bring in my specialized tracks also and support. And then all we will do is dredge the entire odor, mm. take out the silt, because that's one of the problems. Right. It's so silted that small water mm. it starts overflowing. Yeah, one bags. minute is ended. Mm. Absolutely. You are oh. taking <laughs> Sorry. He does. He starts doing that, and then what do we the do? The time was actually up. He, oh, he, starts, okay. he starts doing that. What do we do? We come and bastardize him. Mm. He says, I've left the job. Dredge Masters comes in, also starts doing the job. Another section of Ghanaians say, hey, he's Zoom Lion. <laughs> he's chopping money. So at the end of the day, we are sitting down. Mm. What we want is let's go and bring some white man from but somewhere. I think now, is it Abu Blushi also? They are doing that. They are dredging the place. Yes, you yes. get yeah. it. But yeah. the ultimately, yeah. ultimately, you ask yourself, why don't we put Ghanaian expertise to good use? We are speaking about on hydrological on services yeah. department yeah. and all the engineers who are there. Okay. I have worked at the Ministry of Works. Mm. That time it was Ministry of Works. Water resources, works and housing. <laughs> yeah. And hydrological services was under it. In fact, in, in, in 2016, if my memory serves me right, the NPP manifesto mm -hmm. promised that they the will make it an, an authority. Uh, uh, department was going to be made a full authority because yeah. that was where I asking um, Engineer Wise and Metape. Yeah, rest. Engineer Wise. They Fantastic were, they, were, they were demanding for it because they said, look, give us autonomy 
and let's be able to solve some of the problems you're talking about, covering the gutters, creating flood See, drains. Now, and like, let, let, let me 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 there's a reason why they do covered drains. It's the innate human traits. Mm. And you need to create a situation where you using the power of the state <coughs> to prevent people from falling to the, the weakness of humanity. Mm. And that is why they cover their drains. Yeah, we don't cover our drains. I've always maintained, if you, would, if you want to do open drains mm. for 1,000 kilometers of open drains, it's better you do 300 kilometers of covered drains. And let, let's know that those drains are safe. In the areas where you have covered drains, mm. flooding is reduced in Accra. Okay, um, so yeah. uh, to F finally, yes, let's, let's yes. drop up on this. Um, you know, the problem with us as a continent, mm. this is what I see. There are a few things I think, that's my opinion, I could be wrong. It's no MPP or NDs or anybody's right. opinion. Stephen Amor, mm. 2020. I think as a country, <laughs> one thing, absolute free market economy, mm. me, I've never supported. Two. But why not? Two. It was a long. Uh, it's a long thing to talk about okay. the way we are profiteering and mm. cartel and monopoly. How we manage them in our state. That's mm. one. I think we should be having price cap. This is just off the line. The next thing that may also generate controversy. Mm -hmm. Something I wouldn't say I don't support, mm. but I think absolute dispensation of democracy mm. is a problem for a developing economy. I think so. If you like, check mm. Singapore, Korea, Rwanda. Or mm. even Germany and Co. But they had the different jurisdictions mm. or times. Mm. Where a developing economy where attitude is a problem, mm. behavior of the people are so dis behaviors are so dysfunctional mm. to the performance of the republic. When people are giving the freedom to decide and choose and do everything they want all the time, mm. Papa, it's difficult enforcing laws. So I think we need to do this. The last thing I want to say is that. Yes, we are talking about engineers and planners. Mm -hmm. We are talking about Zoom Lion. Mm -hmm. And now, under Ekufuadu, we have another company doing the dredging. Mm -hmm. But it looks like all these, in my opinion, are ad hoc measures. They are ad hoc. Can we have comprehensive program all over Ghana about our drainage system? Mm -hmm. Well drawn and planned. And plan. Exactly. And say that, okay, for the first four years, mm -hmm. eight years, ten years, maybe thousand kilometers of roads or streets can be done and covered and then by 20 years, the entire country, our drainage system will be said that, I mean, I mean, flooding will be just 1%. Can we have that? Can we draw that? Okay. Can Africans for once, mm. as Kwame Nkuma said, black man capable of handling his own affairs or mm. money his own affairs. Mm. Was that true? Okay. Are we seeing that? We should be able to, because in terms of labor force, mm. in terms of skill component, we have the people. So what is it at all? That's these simple things, the engineers we have. Mm. Look, Kasejan did Sunyan Road. I mean, you know Sunyan Road? Yes. Mm. I think, I don't know whether I had been born, but we were kids. Me and my dad, mm. Papa now, my father was driving on that. Okay. Sorry for speaking to you. Okay. My, dad, my dad was illiterate, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that road, mm. even up to now, it's not over, over 30 years, mm. 40 years. It's not that we are seeing potholes. And it was built by Ghanaians. So what is happening to present engineers in Ghana? And what is the government mm. or authority and other people doing to ensure that mm. our lives are properly protected and preserved? Okay. Good morning to you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Vice President, uh, Works and Housing Minister, um, Atacha, Lawyer Atacha, good morning to you. To all the big men and you know women. Attach, yeah. Yes, to all the big He's men. My boss, and he women. In my Good morning to all of you. We, you we, we know what it is. I remember as a as a young man, uh, then about to wrap up secondary school, the Kole Lagoon Ecological Restoration Project. We sought for funding for it in nineteen ninety nine up to today. We can't have any decent regatta in the Kole Lagoon. That's a shame. And we also have to change our behavior. Us. It's a shame. We it's have to change shame. our behavior. Anyway, Sam George, yesterday I saw you in the rain with your suit, um, screaming your lungs out at the police CID <laughs> um, offices, accompanying Mr. Bernard Mona. The police insist that uh, he said something that was not palatable in the 37 second video. He insists that whatever he said, he stands by it. He will say nothing more. That's his caution statement. Investigations are continuing. He's been granted bail. But why did you leave Parliament to come and be on the rain with your suit? You know, you know, that this is whole, not your job. This this whole story, no, it is my job. This whole story just makes you me. You were in Parliament. This whole story mm. makes me want he, to. He left. 
This whole story just makes me miss the governance of Professor Mills and President Muhammad and makes me want to salute President Muhammad this morning and say, may God bless your soul for your tolerance and the good work you did four years when you led this country and the peace and stability and security you gave to Ghanaians at that time. President Muhammad, wherever you are, and we need you back. Because look, under this despotic regime, where you cannot say anything, you cannot speak. It's akin to biblical days of King Nebuchadnezzar, mm. where you could not speak against the king. Look, you say, what were we doing there? What do I do in parliament? Mm. Am I not there to legislate and pass laws? Mm. What is the basis of any law we pass? Is it not the 1992 constitution? Mm. Does the 1992 constitution not guarantee the freedom of speech to every Ghanaian? What did Bernard Mona say? That is criminal. And what did Bernard Mona say? That can even be compared in the slightest to the comments made by the sitting Deputy General Secretary of the MPP, Nana Obrebuay. Nana Bernard Mona said in 37 seconds, he said, mm. look, if you go ahead with this registration without consensus, it will lead to chaos at the polling stations. Mm. If chaos happens, people will fight and people will die. Is that not an advice and a caution? Is that not a fact that where there is conflict and there is no understanding, there is chaos? Is there a problem with that? Tone. Oh, now... We are going to look at two. So you should have said that if we go there and we don't do it, is that what we are talking about? Come on. Nana Obri Brahim said anybody who doesn't agree with the formation, the, the, the compilation of a new register, mm. if you come to the police station, they will beat you and kill you. The, the police have not heard that one. They have not invited him. Ah, how, how inflammatory and treacherous to our democracy are the comments of Bernard Mona. And yesterday, I heard the first deputy majority whip. Mm. Uh, uh, Matthew Indam yeah. say that it was foolish for us as MPs to go there. Did he say that? Yes, those were his words. Was it foolish for him? But was he wrong? Was it foolish for Matthew Indam? Mm. Was it foolish for all the people, including Sticker, who supported and defended then candidate Akufuado when he said, All die, be die? And said, It's why a chair be weak. Was that wisdom or foolishness? Per their own logic. What is more inflammatory and, a, and, and more of a threat to democracy than the comments of the man who today is president of the country? Today he's president. When he said Etiwa Yechere Bibi Kaka, what, was, what happened in Etiwa? Etiwa, there was random violence, wanton violence. People were slashed with machetes in broad daylight. In broad daylight. And he went and gloated about it and said Yechere Bibi Kaka, all die be die. Today he's president. Who arrested him? Did the police invite him? When our colleague in parliament, Kennedy Japan, mm. specifically made ethnocentric xenophobic comments that if you see a gunman take a stick and hit him, if you see an ever take a stick and hit him, what, what, what should I also have said it was a threat on my life? I'm a gun married to an ever. Mm. So then he's saying that Stika is an Ashanti and he was saying it to Ashantis. So it means Stika should come and kill me and kill my wife. Yet they went out and rallied on the streets and supported him. Was that wise or foolish? Per their own logic. When today, another colleague of ours in parliament, Antonia Bey Fakabu, mm. MP for Laura, said that they had the bad boys and that they were going to create Afghanistan in Ghana. What happened? Did they not support him? Did they not hail him? Did they not defend him? Was that wisdom or foolishness? When today, the national organizer of the NPP, Samir Uku said to conduct violence and hurt your fellow citizen, you didn't even need a gun. Because for a gun, you needed to go and license it. Take, a, take one more Everybody has a pistol in their home. The one we used to pound fufu and pound somebody's head with it. But, but all these Did they not were, defend it? All these things were said when you were in power, largely. And that is why I celebrate That is why I celebrate John Dramani Mahama. John Dramani Mahama was tolerant of all of these nuances and found a way to handle this without necessarily clamping down on the liberties and freedoms and dissenting opinions of people in the opposition. That is the difference between John Mahama and King Nebuchadnezzar, who is leading us today. So you think that you are being, you are being uh, not allowed to express yourselves? You are being uh, pushed They said they are, drafting, they are drafting the invitation for Abraham Kumsin and yourself. You for stoking Abraham Kumsin as aiding and abetting, simply because he was critical of... of, of of the state well, yesterday. But my job is to ask questions. Fantastic. And yeah. our job our job is also to speak. 
Look, our national anthem. Then we should we should change our national anthem. To what? Because our national anthem enjoins us to resist oppressors' rule. So if citizens rise up against oppressors, against draconian ruler, rulership, a case against King Nebuchadnezzar and his high-handedness, mm. against despotic tendencies, against a president and his appointees who think that they can use the agencies of security and state mm. to silence every dissenting opinion, and that all you must have on the airwaves are praise singers. Ah, we are only following the line of our, of our anthem. Our anthem mm. says that we should resist the process rule. If he doesn't like it, he's been changing everything. He should come and change the national anthem too. Okay, so the Electoral Commission, regardless of everything that has been said yesterday, um, went ahead with a pilot, which we're told will end today. Generally, we're told that the process was smooth, apart from a few areas where no, we're told that battery. To no, no, you you will have your your so just note them. You won't open them, are they? You'd have them because I I want to lump lump it together. You get five, you get six, at the same time, so that nobody calls me unfair. Um, so that he doesn't call you on No, 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 I'm not saying. I said so so. I'm thinking one topic should be discussed. Uh, now you want to dictate, you want to dictate no, the I'm whole saying, time I'm to one. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm saying that, okay, okay so yesterday I was asking him, and I'm saying that all so, of what he has said and what is happening now mm -hmm. is as a result of your resistance to the Electoral Commission going ahead to compile a new register. Yes. Now, the Electoral Commission, regardless of everything else, the crowds that were out there, the police and everything, went ahead to do the pilot. Even, and somebody says, a lawyer says, even before the CI matures in, in Parliament, they are using the requirements in the CI to go ahead with the pilot. You are the lawmaker. What does that say to you? Let me reiterate Ibrahim Kumsin's words. The Electoral Commissioner is a robot. She's behaving like a robot. That is not that, fair. I told, behaving, him, I told is, Mr. Kumsin that, that is and not And that fair. is your opinion. That majority, is not of, fair. majority of Ghanaians share Mr. Kumsin's opinion that she's being remote controlled and when the battery runs down, she's going to stop. Listen, at the end of the day, you have an electoral commission that is acting with impunity and things that they are, they, they are above the law. And that's why I think that the electoral commissioner should go and read the letter from the National House of Chiefs mm. that says that nobody can exercise constitutional power in a vacuum. That independence, so-called independence of the electoral commission, does not sit in a vacuum. Mm. It is within a certain context. An electoral commission that has refused to pay at least the slightest curtsy to our revered National House of Chiefs. Nana Santi Hene Otunfo, his royal eminence, his lordship, King, King Solomon of our time, has invited them. Let's see if they will go or they will also disrespect him, like they disrespected the National House of Chiefs. Let's see. But everybody is calling and asking for... Look, this is the first time you are seeing all civil society organizations in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And when I talk about civil society, I'm not talking about mushroom groups. I'm talking about those we know who have been in our, in our, in our political space mm -hmm. for over 20 years. The likes of CDD, mm -hmm. the likes of IDEC, all of them are in money. They are all calling and saying this registration is the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. You are seeing organized labor mm -hmm. coming out and saying, be careful. We finally heard from the Christian Council. Mm -hmm. The Christian Council is also saying, engage. The National Chief Imam has sounded a warning. He's saying, look, engage, build consensus. National House of Chiefs, engage, build consensus. Apart from the MPP, mm -hmm. apart from the MPP, and some of their puppets, like Kofi Apalu and Co. Who else is saying that we should do a register? Majority of Ghanaians, organized labor, uh, student unions, civil society, religious organizations, chief tenancy institutions, everybody is saying, this thing just doesn't make sense in this time and space. Mm -hmm. But the fly that will die, mm -hmm. the stubborn fly, it follows mm -hmm. the corpse into the grave. Okay, thank you. Uh, he had eight minutes, so I'll give you eight minutes as well. Let's start... Um, of, of the, the crowds that were out yesterday uh, in the rain. Um, some say they defied social distancing. Um, they went out there in the rain. The police had to come out in their numbers to say, well, you cannot come beyond this point. And I'm asking him what he was doing out there in the rain. He says, look, it is part of his job because if you pass laws and the laws <coughs> won't be obeyed, what is the essence of sitting in an air-conditioned building? Do you share his thoughts? Uh no, definitely not. Why don't you? Um, it because shows the priorities and the precedence mm -hmm. of the NDC political actors. Mm -hmm. You left the Parliament House mm -hmm. to follow this. I think it's beyond comprehension. 
how can a member of parliament mm -hmm. leave the house, the floor, mm -hmm. and follow this? We leave it for Ghanaians to judge. <laughs> we just, just something I don't have to even comment mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. But please, let's come back to the inflammatory he comments is saying that, saying that, saying that we're former president, uh, no, former president Mahama, mm. is this and that. Tolerant. Oh, honorable, I'm, sorry, I'm surprised. A president that could say that when it comes to violence, NDC, they are stronger, they are more violent than MPP. How could somebody of that stature or status, somebody with this huge amount of... Ask him why this was uh, no, Okay, ah, I'll, 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 so he didn't say this man, oh, to you. Oh, Some alarm, alarm. I think, I think. He said this Stephen, in don't engage him. Engage know. me, Stephen. Engage two. me. I'm coming too. Stephen, engage me. If you engage him, he will engage. If he is tolerant, mm. why has he taken Abronye to court? To the police, sorry. Why is he petitioning against Abronye? He sees libel. So he made a statement that he didn't like. This is a tolerant president ah. against his person. A, a tolerant former president. I'm coming. Okay. Wasn't he Samia Uku twenty? 2013, invited under his 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 his, uh, uh, his whatever under his government or whatever, mm. wasn't he invited? It was under the same the two Jones, mm. the last mm. regime that uh, Sami Uku was invited by the police because mm. of a trances. Sami Uku and and John Duodu again 2015 were invited. So Onamu, are you living in this country or not? In any case, Koku Baku and Ko, those days, maybe mm. you forgot your history. Media houses were soiled with feces. They were battered, beaten, assaulted. It was a coup order that came to make sure that criminal libel law mm. was repealed. A coup order did that. Tell me one single thing mm. that President Mahama did or has done or is doing to promote freedom of expression in Ghana. They, they say no, when? when? Just one. They, they say when? when ah, he is rather taking well, somebody, well, he himself, personally. Mm. Who did the coup for ever? Well, so the they, point is, so the they, 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 and under President Mahama, it's, it wasn't the case. Yes, we don't. That's so what they say that's, that's what, 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 we, all live, we all live in Ghana. Okay. Let's just check the differences. What are we talking about? Let's check the differences. The global index is what we What is brought. global index? See, we live in Ghana here. Okay. Let's talk about what is happening. And that then what happened? How many people were invited? Mm. He's talking about Etiwa. Mm. Before all these groups that we all don't want in our system, those putting up on the social behavior like macho men and co. Cool. The vigilantes, you exactly. Know. Unless I don't know the time with all respect, we were born in Ghana. Mm. I've been doing politics for over 20, no, no, getting to 30 years. I started very tender age, I've never stopped. Mm. As a matter of fact, I was even debating former President Mahama, Tony Edwards. So I know what I'm talking about. Look, let me tell you something. What happened in Chiopani, mm -hmm. Talensi, Etiwa, mm -hmm. Asokwa? Mm. Benabe, all those mm. places, or Benaba in Upper East. Mm. NDC, all the time, they were known to be very brutal mm. and violent. Mm. He knows. And they were beating. Look, it's, it's, it's even a common saying among Ghanaians that, oh, MPP for the year, Sekain, NDC for day. And his own former president, now a flag bearer of NDC, just recently said that. That they are more strong. Look, I have pictures. This was okay, after Ayala to West Wogon. I have pictures. Okay, the violence at Ayala to West Wogon. We don't want to. We don't want the family to be put back into things they don't want to see. Mm. When I'm coming next time, I'll bring them. Show you people that were killed, battered, cut into pieces in Brunhaf under former President Mohammed Nko. I can show you. I'll bring it. This is pictorial evidence. Mm. So he shouldn't even go there. The fact of the matter is that. What is wrong with EC exercising its constitutional mandate? They say everybody is against Who you. is everybody? Tell me the statistics. What scientific has been done? I mean, I'm an Oregonian. Mm. I'm for it. Why is the NDC? Look, if you don't want to register, just stay home. If you don't want to vote, stay home. Why are you forcing somebody not to register? If you don't want to be part of a system, in any case, 
I've been asking these questions. Mm -hmm. Is there any extra from our constitutional books that compels us to register or vote? I know Jehovah's Witness people, they don't vote, and mm -hmm. they are free to go. 1992, the MPP's fraternity decided not to be part of those systems, mm -hmm. the political and electoral systems. NDC had their way. Mm -hmm. If they are not ready, you can stay home. But you can't move to the center and come and cause commotion and say that Bernard Muna said what? Well, Bernard said what? In Ashanti region, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, honorable, we mm -hmm. are going to register massively. Okay. If anybody... And, and the voter region. If any, so, I live in Ashanti if anybody Papa, wants. I live in Ashanti. Why do I, do I talk about voter region? Okay. I'm talking about where I live. Okay. And where is my jurisdiction? Mm -hmm. And where I can support directly for people to register. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm not saying that against any other region. Mm -hmm. But where I live, where I come from. You register massively. Massively. And they know the modus of apprentice will register Papa. But the fact is that it is exercising our fundamental human rights and democratic rights. Mm -hmm. If the NDC guys and any other factors are not ready to vote, mm -hmm. they should stay home. But you cannot say you are preventing other people from exercising their fundamental human rights. Okay. That one, we will preserve and protect mm -hmm. their lives and the properties and the communities. Mm -hmm. We will make sure that they cannot put up any antisocial scary and behaviors. How would you do that? Protect them. Mm. Of course, there are laws, there are security agencies, there are people. You think I'll stay in a queue mm. and some judge, honorable some judge, people will come and say they want to pull me forth from the queue. Why wouldn't they stay home? Well, if you're not going to register, what do you want at the polling station? Okay. Only for you to come and cause commotion. Mm. I'm telling Bernard Muna, mm -hmm. Ashanti when you will register. He should come there with his men. Then these people should come. No problem. They should come. When they come. They're waiting for them. When they come, they will smell pepper. Pepper. Okay. I'm telling you, is he, is he some, smell pepper. Some, 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 they will smell pepper some, nicely. Thank you, Stika. Somebody just sent me a message that in a very democratic manner. While, 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 uh, about? while Bernard Mona had supporters out there in the rain, some NDC members out no, there in the NDC. rain. Allow me, please. NDC, some NDC members out there in the rain yesterday, following him in solidarity. Some of your members were also at the polling stations where the, uh, the piloting was happening. Allow me, allow, no, me, allow no, me, allow no, me. Just one minute, okay. I beg you. There is this issue I want us to clear, because he also took one minute before he comes in. Kennedy Japan, issue. Kennedy Japan has an ever wife with ever children. Let's face it, what happened? For three, four days, continuously, mm. or he, or do, what was happening? Are you justifying the comment? No, 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 I'm coming, I'm by, coming. By saying that I'm not justifying it. No, no, no. Ah, but he was saying that he was playing tribe against him. Somebody with our children, his mm. own children, which you think he will say that will go and cut. He never made that statement. He didn't are, say that. No, they're taking that out of context. He, did, which, what he said the context? that, the listen, he, that's what I'm explaining. <laughs> For three days on TV, the accounts that, that were really having that. their shops there mm. were being battered, brutalized, and prevented from being part of the electoral exercises. Okay. We saw on TV for three days. Mm. And Kenya Bon came out and said that. If, I'm not saying I support it, okay. but I'm making the statement he made. If they don't stop and you're doing this to mm. them, then those in Kumasi and Co, not that what he mm. said was right, mm. but don't let us take that okay. out of context so, as so, if so you he want, was you want, fighting You want track. context to be applied for Mr. Japan, but you don't want context to be applied for Mr. Mama when he says, uh, we'll meet them boot for boot. Because you, he said that after I also was were gone. After I also So gone. that's that's No, because he, he is overly... Trying to angelize, if that is okay. the right vocabulary. Okay. And you have a problem with it. But somebody. But you also idolize him no, but a form, Akufuado. A former, but what has he done? Akufuado, somebody that helped repeal criminal law, okay. culture of silence in our country. Have you read our history? Ah, okay. Because no, of Akufuado's thank effort. Thank you. He is I, sitting I think here that your one, one, one minute is up. That is what I'm talking your one, about. Your, your one minute is up. Sam, so Akufuado somebody, somebody says he's that. Different. Look, you know, he yesterday you had people massing up, some NDC members massing up as well to solidarize with Mr. Bernard Bonner. And at the polling stations, you were out there monitoring the process. That's double standards, don't you think? What, what is double standards about that? That you say is, you don't like dog meat, but you're using your teeth to divide it for small, small children to chew. Why? Who says, who says, who says that we were, we, were, we were engaged in the process? If the EC says they are going about the process, you are, you are battling the EC and raising technical challenges mm -hmm. that will arise. And many of those things were evident yesterday. Mm -hmm. okay? People who were supposed to be vouched for. The system was not accepting vouch for uh, 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 registrations. Mm. These are real technical challenges that happen. But you see, no, it's, not it's important. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth to speak. Which and is? I am glad. I am glad that on this show, mm -hmm. Stika says mm -hmm. in the Ashanti region, mm -hmm. they are preparing themselves, mm -hmm. and that anybody who comes there and is not one of them 
they will show you pepper. Is that what I say? You will see pepper. No, is that what because I say? if you come there, no, if no, 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 you come there. You will say, "Hey, listen, listen, listen." You will be blessed. You can't come. He asked you. He asked you. He said, "But this is a bastard." Police people. Police people don't show pepper. He can. He can speak. He can speak. If you put up on the social behavior, you smell let, pepper. Let me finish. Ah, okay. But the security agency should okay. be there. Steven, Johnny, Steven, ah, but if you Steven, register, Steven, why are you coming there? Steven, Steven, Johnny. Steven. I think there's... Don't Steven. even try. Steven. You think those days you Steven people are putting Amor. up so much and your behaviors in Ghana? Steven Amoa. I mean, they are gone. Steven Amoa. We have had a very... We have Steven, Steven Amoa. They are not invoked. Steven Your Amor. action on this show is primitive. century. It doesn't matter. Steven Amoa. Sorry, boss. Go on. Please, I beg you. We have had a very nice conversation. So let's let's wrap up. But he, he is causing it. I beg you. I so mean, let's, 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 let's have the right of his, reply to yeah, correct whatever he is. He is causing it. He is, he is, he is, he is seeking uh, to come to parliament. In parliament, we don't behave like this. We don't behave in such primitive ways. I wouldn't have been there in the first place. You. You see, the point we need to make. The point we need to make. Still allow him. You note your note your. By all standards. The point. The point. The point. The point we need to make forcefully. I beg you. <laughs> First food so speak. Yes. is the fact okay. that look at the end but of the day. But if you interrupt him and the time runs, you won't speak. Okay. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, he sits here and is trying to contextualize what Honorable Kennedy Japan said. We all heard it, and you see, he's not learned his lesson with TV3. When he came and said that Kofi Annan did not go with the helicopter, and you played oh. the video for him, he he, he was caught pants down. Me? Now again, he is trying to say. The story was he's trying to say on the ground. that at the end of the day, Kennedy Japan did not make the comments that we had, and he's trying to contextualize oh, it. Did I say he's that? also trying to turn around here and tell us that Akufuado <laughs> is different. Ah, wait. Let me give you a present for this round out. Stephen, I gave you a condition. Yes, he did. Okay. But as leader of the time. NPP, he oversaw what was the violence at the MPP headquarters that led to the deployment of military and police to safeguard MPP lives and Ghanaian citizens there. Ah. He oversaw the murder of, of, of the Upper East Regional Chairman at that time, Chairman Adams. But how did he oversee that? He was the leader of the party. Ah. So, As leader of the party, everything that goes on in the party is the ultimate responsibility of the leader. The leader of, a, of an organization takes an ultimate responsibility. Who was the leader of the MPP when Chairman Adams was murdered? Was it not President Akufuado? Was it not the, the so-called angelic President Akufuado? Who could not withstand internal dissent and saw the sacking of a constitutionally elected general secretary, national chairman, and first vice, Sami Krab, Kwadmei Japan, and uh, 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 Chairman Afoko? Ah, you want to talk about Nanado as an angel of light? Really? The intolerance of President Akufado is on display for everybody to see. Okay, wrap up for and, that's, and, and so in wrapping up, mm. look, you can choose to want to paint President Akufado as an angel of light and try to bastardize President Mahama. When it comes to tolerance, tolerance, everybody knows who is tolerant between President Akufado and President Mahama. Okay. And all that. we are saying is that, look, the president cannot think that he would ascribe to himself the, himself the powers of the state and use that to suppress the will of the people. The power of the people mm. is greater than the people in power. Thank you. And that is one thing they must learn. Sika, Sika you take the final word and Boss. let's go. Uh, Richie says our time is up. But uh, let's so borrow a minute for you. So anybody that was murdered under Muhammad's regime, Muhammad oversaw that. I'm surprised my brother here is saying that what I'm doing uh, in parliament, please, by all standards, being the government business, private business, on the floor, being understanding issues that are discussed, you then we shouldn't have been there. <laughs> the difference is clear. Ghanaians know. So don't so even go there. Can we get off the personal things and talk? Come on. So he started it. Please. The next thing is, I'm saying that if not anything at all, mm. culture of silence mm. in Ghana here, the one that played the most critical role for us to all have is not the true. freedom it here. Is is not rolling oh, no. the airways. Please, please. You say I'm sitting oh, here because of please. a Fadu. It was oh, President Rollins who Sam, gave Sam, licenses. Sam. President Rollins had a lot of licenses. Can I walk no, close? I walk palm. Are you not aware? Mm. Like, correct him. President Rollins is the one who liberalized the airways. Who had been jailed by course of competent jurisdiction. Mm. Mahama asked that they release the person. Here, ah. Ghana here. You are aware. Ah. What is he talking Those about? Boys. I'm coming. The next what, I'm coming. What is he talking about? El Kufuado is the most vilified and bastardized leader in our country. Tell me which of them he hey, 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 cover your mouth. Cover your mouth. Don't give us cover your mouth. Cover your mouth. Cover your mouth. Let's all oh Sam Sam. Cover your mouth. Oh, come and give us cover your mouth. Our time is up. Our time is up. Our time is up. My director is screaming to my ears. In our political history, mm. there has never been any head of state mm. or flag bearer of any part in terms of 
bastardization. Mm. That is that okay. is factually incorrect. Okay. Thank you. Tell me which of them. Thank you. Tell me alone. Tell me alone. Tell me alone. Not in jail. Did it, Mama. Is the member of parliament for the new from Prime Constituency of the Greater Accra Region and also Stephen Amoam is uh, the boss at Maslock. Stephen says we didn't allow him to talk. But uh, <laughs> when, I, when I told him not to... Anyway, uh, Ambassador Sampi Yale says, one day, drive to the estuary of the Kole Lagoon. The Kole Lagoon is lower than the sea level. This means that the Odor Lagoon, which empties into the Kole Lagoon with a lot of garbage, flows back on the... Uh, or gets staggered into the Kole Lagoon. There are solutions that we need are serious hydro engineering solutions rather than sanitation and municipal solutions.